All right, so you're probably all here to try to figure out how to get a vacuum set up on your above ground pool. Um, this here is a Coleman um, pool that uh, it's, I think they're all made by Best Way and the Intex ones, they're all, they're all the same. Uh, this is a Power Steel um, Vista Series 2 by Coleman though. Uh, that's the way it's branded. But the um, problem I'm having is that uh, you do get some debris that gets to the bottom of the pool that you're unable to fish out with your pole and skimmer. It's just too fine. Um, and it just kind of disperses through the water. And I don't like that. I like to get it out. So I uh, needed to figure out a way to vacuum it. Uh, and I guess it's unconventional to have a vacuum for an above ground pool. Um, for whatever reason. So, so what we have here, um, we have two B inlets. Um, I don't have a plunger valve on my inlets, um, but I've ordered one. Um, and we have one outlet, which is the A port um, on the pool. And I've upgraded my pool filter to an Intex 16 inch sand filter. Uh, highly recommend that y'all do that. So these here, are actually stoppers. They go in this way um, towards the B, um, towards the wall, towards the inlet, um, and it stops water from rushing into the actual lines while you're maintaining your filter um, or your pump. So um, I won't be needing those today. Um, these are the B inlets uh, covers. They're supposed to catch debris before they get into the actual filter itself. Um, or to the pump itself um, and they're just put on there with the wing nuts so you loosen up the wing nuts on the back side and then um, they just unscrew and you'll see right now why I had to figure out a way how to get these um, on here a separate way um, I found this guy here this is at Leslie's pull supply which if you pulled out the insert for the actual um, strainer for the B port um, it could just plug right in but because of how difficult it is to pull these out I kind of don't want to be tugging at the liner so much um, you'll see right now that it, it doesn't want to come very easily um, so you got to twist it and pull it until it finally will but um, and then the smaller end will make its way in and you'd be able to connect your hose to that so I'm trying to avoid all that by doing that. So um, what I found was, um, and I'll put a link in the description for um, actually an adapter that screws on to this smaller cover. And um, so you can take the uh, strainer off, um, the little um, cross cover that's over the front, the debris catch over the front, and it threads right onto the actual cap itself um, or to the base itself when it's in the pool. So you just shove it back in the pool and then you can just twist it on and off like so. Makes it really easy. And then um, I believe that the outside diameter fits a one and a quarter inch, uh, sorry, one and a half inch pipe and the inside diameter um, might be for a smaller pipe, but uh, end up having to get this additional part here, which I'll put a link in the description for this as well from Ace Hardware. Um, it's a step down um, uh, adapter and you can see here when you put it in um, that it'll actually be just a hair too long so we'll have to trim it um, but we'll get this part back on um, and that will stay on tighten the wing nuts back up so no need to pull those off again um, here you see that it's sticking out a bit too far so I'll have to cut um, a couple of portions off of, of this here just with my um, conduit cutter or pipe cutter. Now this is a ratcheting uh, pipe cutter here so we just go down and uh, right to the right location and then we just end up just turning it while well, putting a little bit of pressure on it and it'll, uh, it'll, it'll cut it right off. We'll end up doing the same thing on the other side. So this once you get it on it just threads right on pretty easy. Doesn't need to be gorilla tight. You just hand tighten it. Um, and that's kind of it. Then you connect your one and a quarter inch hose to that. Um, I have a one and a quarter inch hose because I have a one and a quarter inch vacuum. And um, I guess I could have got a bigger hose, but it's not really necessary. Um, 
and the the adapter does pop in and out. Um, it really doesn't while you're vacuuming, but um, you know without the, remember the vacuum's off, so or the um, filters off, so the pumps off. So there's not really any pressure holding it in. But once you get it all connected, um, it's a snug fit to the hose, and it's a firm fit to the actual inlet uh, adapter. And there you go. And you'll see here we'll just connect the um, actual vacuum head to the hose here. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's both ends of it. So make sure that before you um, actually start vacuuming, uh, take the air out, do yourself a favor and take the air out of the hose. Um, just hold one side to the outlet to the A port. Um, and all the water that's coming out circulating out of your filter will um, it'll be forced through the hose and you'll see there once you get water out um, you pretty much you got all the air out so you'd be good to go after that just turn the pump off um, go back and unscrew the actual um, the debris catch over the B uh, inlet get any remaining air out to the end of the hose thread on the actual adapter and then once you get that threaded on then just go ahead and um, then you can just push the the adapter um, that you got from ace right into the um, to the threaded adapter and that's pretty much it um, at this point you just turn the vacuum back on or the pump back on and he's good to go so not much more to it that's how it's done